Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to set up the CBI time switch. Now at the moment the time switch gives the time of 1651, that is in military time, so that is 4.51 p.m. The time switch uses that time format, the 24-hour time format. Right, in order for me to get started, the first thing I would do is set the time. Now on the four corners are touch-sensitive zones. This is a touch-sensitive screen. One does not have to press it, one just needs to touch it. So for example, if I put my finger on the function zone, Notice it now says clock set. In this menu, I can now set the time that is displayed on the timer. At the bottom, I have minutes and at the top, I have hours. So if I want to change the time to five o'clock, I would need to press that once and touch over here. And I can touch it several times to get to zero. Now, if I would like to go a bit quicker, I can press and hold. For example, I can bring it back to the original time that I had. Right, in order to change the hours, I touch at the top there, the hour section, and you can see how the hours are changing. Once I'm satisfied with my settings, I touch the function menu, and notice it takes me to program, but in this case, I'm going to touch again here, and now it takes me back to the home screen. Having a look at the home screen, I can see that the time is 4.55, and the timer is off. Off means that anything connected to the timer, for example, your load, many people use a pull pump, possibly a geezer, possibly floodlights, whatever load you've connected would be off because it says off. Now in order to configure the timing sequence for those loads, I need to go to the program mode. So in order to get to that, I touch on the function zone over there and I touch the function zone again. Now over here I have the programming mode and I'm going to set a timing sequence whereby it will be for a geezer and let's say the geezer should come on at 5 o'clock in the morning and then turn off at 7 o'clock in the morning and then have an afternoon cycle of turn on time 4 p.m. and then turn off time 8 p.m. So in order to do that I'm going to say off. So I touch there and notice it is in 15 minute increments. So now it says 0015. That is 15 minutes past midnight, the time is still off. If I touch here again, it's 30 minutes past midnight. So I want it off all the way till five o'clock in the morning. Now at five o'clock, I want it on. So I touch here where it says on. Now there are two things being displayed. The first thing is a little line has formed over there. Now that line is telling me that the timer comes on from five o'clock. The outer ring, there's a dot there, a dot there, then it says three, that would be four, that's five. So notice that there's a line there starting at five. Now on the inner ring, this is the interval. Now the timer works in 15 minute intervals. That means you can have the switch a load on or off every 15 minutes or within 15 minute intervals. So that means that also a multiple of 15 can also be set. So if I switch this on again, notice that the Giza or the load would now be on for 30 minutes. Now one can see that it says 5.30. So now I touch it again. So now it is 45 minutes. If I touch again, it is now back to zero. And if I press again, see how it is 6.15. Now I want it to be on all the way till seven o'clock. So what has happened here is I've now configured it to be on for two hours. Notice that there's a line there starting at the five and ending at the seven. Now that tells me that the timer is activated in that range. Now I want it off all the way till four o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm touching here and I keep my finger touching the screen all the way till 5 p.m. Now at 5 p.m. I want my load to be switched on, so in this case it would be a geezer, all the way till 8 p.m. Now I'm going to touch and hold my finger there till 8 p.m., so that would be 20. Right, so in this case I've now set two timing sequences from 5 to 7, the geezer would be on, and then from 4 to 8, the geezer would be on. Now I can touch the function zone over there, and notice that immediately my time is actually saying on. And the reason why it's saying on is because I am within the on time of this particular timing sequence. Now a few things here. If I wanted to bypass this and actually switch it off, maybe I don't want the geezer on or the pool pump on, whatever my load is, I can touch the bypass section here and when I touch it, it gives me an option on or off. Now in this case, I want to override my timer. So I'm going to say off. So what it's doing is it's now switching the relay off even though the timer was on. 
Now, if I want to disable that, all I need to do is put my finger on the bypass and it clicks back to the timing sequence of on. Now, say for example, the time was 10 a.m. Now, according to my timer, my output should be off. Notice there are no lines here showing me that the timer would be on. So my timer is now off. But what happens if I wanted to force it on? Well, I can also bypass it into the on position. So I can touch here and now it's asking me on or off. And I'm going to touch here by the on and you could even hear the click from the relay. So what has happened now is even though the timer is programmed to be off, I've overridden the timer by bypassing it into the on position. Now a few important things. If your power goes off, for example, if there is a power outage or load shedding, you will get this icon here telling you that the power is off. The relay inside will not operate and also the menus do not function. So I have to wait till the power is restored before I can change or use my timer again. Now another thing is if you've set your timer only to be on for 15 minutes, notice that it does have the full line there indicating an entire hour, but it isn't actually on for that entire hour. So just be aware of that, that even though it's on for 15 minutes or 30 minutes or 45 minutes or the full hour, it still shows the line as though it's on for the full hour. And just a reminder that this is a touch screen, so I just have to put my finger there. I don't have to actually press. If you're seeing that happen and it's discoloring, you're pressing too hard. And then lastly, if you'd like to write over an old program sequence, for example, mine was set to come on at five o'clock and go off at seven o'clock. Maybe I want to change that and I don't want it to come on at five. I just press off when it's at the five o'clock time. 5.15, notice I'm just pressing off and it's actually cancelling, it's clearing that line. Notice I'm writing over the old sequence. So in this case, there is no timing sequence for the morning session. And if I want it on for most of the day, I just touch here and keep my finger here and it will just keep going all the way. So maybe if it's for a floodlight in the night, you just touch here and let it count through all the hours. Alright, thanks for watching and cheers.